Hello, good afternoon everybody. This is Michael here from Asia Virtual Solutions. Today I'm going to be chatting to you a bit about a great new feature that was recently added in uh, GSA Search Engine Ranker that will save you a lot of time and money. And that feature was added in version uh, 3.9 3.91 uh, if I open change lock quickly I'll show exactly what it was um, the version is 3 which is a bit bigger so you can see in the version 9.13.91 uh, um, this option option to send all the late to the index and ping services this is a very great feature that was added added it to uh, GSA Search Engine Ranker and it's really going to save you a lot of time and it's going to save you about 30 to 40% uh, on what you are paying for indexer services let me go back to my to my uh, post here so I can get uh, so basically what has been added at um, is that um, a feature has been added to just a search engine ranker to the post which enables us under the options tab which enables us to delay the ping the, the send to ping this was not here before and that was really bad because um, if you understand how just a search engine ranker work you are First GSA search engine ranker built uh, links. This is now stop this project here. Yeah. It will build the link and immediately after it's submitted and a link has been built, it will put it in a verified uh, thing there. Uh, and it will keep adding it as it's building. So it will submit the link if it's uh, successful and there was no errors, it will take it, it will believe that it's a verified link. And um, it will have a link uh, from, from where it posted. But as we all know that whatever links you submit does not always get uh, accepted on these sites. Links get modulated. Uh, links simply are automatically deleted if they spammy or the owners don't like them or they are automatically removed by, by, by the sites. Um, and you had no way of, of controlling that in the past uh, unless you were doing it manually and not submitting to any indexes uh, and doing it manually so what will happen is GSI search engine ranker will send everything to whatever you have here in indexing so if you have GSI search your indexer redirect or any of the other many indexer services that you can add on or a pinger services it will send those links immediately after it was created and uh, that resulted based on what I've checked that about I would say about 30% of all those links are dead links so you are paying if you're sending it to the indexes by volume um, so if you're sending 30% of the links you send there dead it's like throwing money in the water and if you're sending it uh, to these GSA index and all the rec, um, these are, are not really fast. And you will not usually have a huge queue here of uh, I don't know how many million links in the queue. And basically about 30-40% of those links are dead. Yes, these have the uh, option uh, to check the all before submissions, but it's just a waste of the time. Because those links are about uh, mostly uh, not all live so there's the one here as well but these other indexes so if you had uh, any of these um, that you were using then I know I know use I use one hour indexing and that you pay by volume I can only send I think it's 10,000 uh, per day and that's it if I want more and I get charged or I have to pay if I want to send more so, wouldn't it be nice uh, if these earls were first double-checked before they are sent to the indexes to make sure they are working? 
And that's what I've uh, talked to Sven ab about earlier on um, in the month. And uh, he finally went ahead and added that feature. So now, um, sorry, if you go to a project and open it, we will see that, um, come on, we will see in this uh, project under the options tab, you now have this feature here. Send to index delayed by, you can put in here whatever you want, you can put in minutes, hours, days. Um, I recommend, because normally you will verify automatically after one day. And then I like to verify, uh, re-verify after three days, and then after only five days. I will send it to my indexes. That that is uh, what I recommend. Obviously, if you are doing a churn and burn, you just have one tier, and burning a uh, churning and burning oils, then uh, you don't need to about the need to worry about these. But I like to uh, bolt deeper links, uh, tiered links. So I will use this. And uh, for the first tier. I will normally send it to every index I have, the paid index, normally this one here, other indexes, that is uh, basically everything uh, that is paid for and the free pinger. And then this is the, these two GSA ones. Now I don't normally send for the lower tier, say if I have a seven tier project, I will only use other indexes which I'm paying for, for tier one. For tier two I want to save money, so I'm not going to send to that, uh, to tier 2 as well. I'll just use this uh, ones that I have already. Uh, that's just helping me save money on the indexer services. Because I have quite a lot of installs of GSI Search Engine Rank and I find <laughs> it all adds up. So, basically what you do is you just select that you want to send to the indexes, then you make sure you check the index ping delay. So what will happen here now is um, it will build the link and then after one day it's going to verify that link if, if that link is still there. If it's not there it will be removed. That's why this number goes up and down all the time. So it will be removed and it will not, not, not be used to send to the indexes. Then after three days GSA search engine ranker is going to go back and say is this link still there? Because sometimes the people take time to moderate uh, the post and it can be a day or two before they actually have t seen the link and uh, either deleted it or approved it. So I like to re-verify after three days. And then on the fifth day, you can make this four or five. But I use, use it as five. That also looks a bit more natural. And uh, this, this way the search engine sp uh, spiders will keep coming back uh, to those uh, links five days later. So you set it on 5 and that then gets sent. If you are just doing churn and burn you don't have to verify anything just and this you can put uh, you can put uh, send it after after minutes after 15 minutes or 10 minutes if you're doing churn and burn but I'm not doing churn and burn and if you're doing churn and burn you will uncheck both of those, but uh, I don't recommend doing churn and burn, mm, even to affiliate links. So one three five is my recommendation uh, for these uh, settings here. So that way, after five days, it's only going to send to the indexes those holes that are working. So now. I know a lot of you guys have a lot of projects. This is just one, uh, one, uh, one VPS of my clients. He's got uh, only three projects in here. But let's say you have a hundred projects. How the hell are you now going to go one by one to set all of that up? No need. You can do it all at once. So you select, if, if all of them are going to be the same settings, you just highlight all the projects, go to modify, um, we will edit single option for all. Then you look for delay, yeah. 
delay index and you make sure it is you click on uh, delay index on and then you click OK and now you have to select zero to switch it on or one to in uh, zero to disable or one to enable it so mine is already on so you will then put a one here and click OK then it will tell you it updated for how many product projects okay next we have to go back we are not done there's two steps to this we then go again to edit single option and this time we go to delay index in minutes how many how long do we want to wait before we it's sent uh, index of minutes so now we have to figure out how many minutes is in five days so just use your Google be lazy like I am and we say how many minutes minute in five days there you go and it tells us there's seven thousand uh, go away Google what do you want now let me just close this there's uh, seven thousand two hundred minutes in five days so then you just go and type in here seven thousand two hundred minutes and click OK and then it will say it updated for six projects so there you have everything is now set for all of those projects so that that is just the easier way okay so um, that uh, will save you a lot of time I've also went through all the steps in this uh, post uh, over here which basically just explains everything in a bit more detail what I just told you and um, if you don't want to do this by yourself it's, it's a bit confusing for you then you can just go ahead and uh, order one of our data packs and we will set all the settings when we build uh, the data packs and uh, whether it's a one tier or seven tier data pack we will make the settings for the spin delay uh, accordingly to how many tiers they are okay so uh, where's my post now so if you have any questions about this uh, this new feature drop me a drop me a note or leave a comment uh, below and um, I'll get back to you okay I hope uh, this has helped you click the like button if you don't mind